Wilbur Ross hasn't gotten on the recovery bandwagon just yet. The billionaire investor says the U.S. economy is nowhere near a full rebound. So how does this change? What he thinks we can expect from the banking industry? Wilbur is chairman and CEO of W.L. Ross & Company. He joins us now on the telephone. Wilbur, just a few moments ago, in fact, more than a few moments ago, 45 minutes ago, we got earnings from J.P. Morgan. Shows really how banks are thriving in this environment. Asset values have come back. But people still aren't shopping quite as much as expected for those distressed bank assets. Are you finding them any more appealing than you did, say, six months ago? Well, as you know, we did buy Bank United uh, back in May uh, from the FDIC, and we're quite happy with the way that that is working out. Uh, the new management team that's been put in has really gotten hold of things, uh, is improving both the cost structure on the deposit side and putting money out in the lending side. So we, we feel that that one foray that we have made uh, is working quite well. Do you but, want to be a consolidator, though, Wilbur? Do you see an opportunity to buy some other assets, say, from the FDIC or perhaps elsewhere in the industry? There's so much uh, stress in commercial real estate. Yes, well, we were part of the group with Starwood uh, that acquired the chorus assets from right. the FDIC. And again, we're quite happy. It's early days, and that's a multi-year workout. But we're quite happy with the early progress that's being made there. It, it seems to be the case that even in markets that have been as bombed out as, say, Miami, at a level, uh, apartments will sell. Now, it may be that the level is $200,000 instead of the original price of 600000 but at least they're selling. And I think that's a good sign because it means it eventually will clear out the overhang. But we're a long ways from solving the housing problem and the mortgage problem. Well, we're and, go ahead. I, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, but I just kind of want to get back to this idea of Bank United, as you mentioned earlier. Do you think regulators are becoming more consistent with what they are willing to let PE firms do in the banking group? Well, since our deal on Bank United, uh, I don't believe there has been another private equity transaction. So, uh, well, Andy no, Mack, though, known as One West, of course, allowed to buy well, a failed bank. I mean, is that yes, a sign of things that, to that, come? That, that preceded our transaction. The Indy Mac deal was back around March. Our deal was in May. As far as I know, there has not been a private equity deal to buy a failed bank since then. Um, and uh, I, th I think the FDIC still is concerned about the idea of private equity uh, buying banks. Uh, at the, back in July, when they finalized the new rules, they had indicated that six months later they would have a review. And we're hoping that there really will be a formal process to review things so that they can reconsider do they really need to extract a higher amount of capital from a private equity-backed bank uh, than from one that's just owned by the public. Wilbur, I want to jump in and ask you a quick question, though, uh, about GMAC, because there is some talk that GMAC may sell its mortgage, mortgage servicing business to Warren Buffett. And I want to know, given your knowledge of mortgage servicing, whether you're willing to bid against Warren for that business. Well, uh, we, as you know, don't really announce what we're about to bid on, but we are the largest independent servicer of non-prime mortgages through American Home Mortgage. It services around $100 billion worth of mortgages on some 500,000 homes. And so anytime a large servicing platform comes up, it's logical to think we'll at least look at it. Uh, Wilbur, I know we're jumping around a little bit from, from mortgages to autos. You said maybe there should be a second cash for clunkers program. Uh, should we be concerned that you're saying that? Do you think the auto industry is that weak? It isn't so much that. Uh, I believe that car sales will go up perhaps a million and a half units from 
last year, but these are very, very depressed levels. Uh, the United States in a normal year scrapped between 12.5 million and 13.2 million cars. And then a family formation growth generally adds another million unit demand. Okay. Well, we're only going to be at, say, 10 and 11 and a half million units next year. Okay. And we were less last year. We have year. to leave it there. Mr. Ross, we thank you so much. You're Wilbur welcome. Ross, Chairman and CEO of WL Ross & Company.